The topic of diodes for crystal radios has often come up and I have found a substitute that I've been working with lately because the 1N34A, which we see here on the bottom, has been really hard to find lately. And so what I've done is I've tested some that people have sent in. Uh, so far, the one that I like the best is this D9K. It was made in Eastern Europe uh, many years ago, and it's still somewhat available. It's not, e I won't say it's easy to find, it's not, but uh, it's out there. And again, the bottom one here is the 1N34A. So what I have done is I have set up my oscilloscope to uh, take the generator out source that's over here and you can see it there. And I have connected it to both diodes. Both diodes are oriented the same way. And then I've got two separate probes. The yellow line is the 1N34A and the blue line is the D9K. As you can see, the D9K seems to be a little bit more sensitive. Uh, it is showing more output for a given input than the 1N34A. Let's, uh, let's work through the AM band. So I'm starting at the bottom. This is 500 kilohertz. It's 1.5 volts. And if, if I can remember to turn the correct knob. Um, there's 1.1 megahertz, 1.2, 1.3. 1.4, 1.5, and 1.6. So that's roughly the top. And all that's happened is that the, uh, actually the D9K is still outperforming the 1N34A. So yeah, that's, uh, whoops, going the wrong way. Take it back to the bottom. So again, this is the bottom of the AM band. So yeah, um, it appears that the D9K is at least an acceptable, if not a better substitute than the 1N34A. Okay, well that's it. Just a, a brief thing to let people know that if you can find the D9K uh, more easily than the 1N34A, appears to be a very reasonable substitute in your crystal radios. Okay, well that was it. Thanks for watching.